great golfers really know how to properly use their hips in an athletic swing. We're going to review this one from our coach Nathan in detail to help you understand the extension, the flexion, and the rotations that drives power and speed. First off, just a little pre um, what he's trying to feel before the swing. So you see here that he's doing some hip extension flexion and then he extends out coming through right yeah, and see? I love on I love on that you can see that he's he's really quiet with his trunk when he's doing that you can tell he's really trying to feel that that really those rotations of the hip the flexions and extensions through but it's, his trunk isn't overly active practicing that disassociation yep all right so we've talked about a couple of different angles to look at here so right hip describe kind of what's the position of the right hip socket yeah, so here. things we look at here we definitely want that right hip to be internally rotated and the thing that we're going to look for to see that is kind of that crease uh, and you can see that really nice crease on the inside there um, and then the other thing you can see is that we wanted to see some extension through that swing and so you can see a little bit of that movement as he kind of moves into internal rotation and extension on that backswing. All right, so notice the kneecaps as well. The kneecaps are still pretty forward, right? So relative to the trunk, the knee, relative to the trunk, mm -hmm. the, the knees are quote unquote turning left. Or in other words, they don't fly to the right with the body and that's the left hip and the right hip being um, internally and externally rotated. Right? Yep, instead but, of just swaying and then turning with the rest of the body. Right, so there's torque that you feel in the hips here, and that torque wants to return you to like that spot right there. Mm -hmm. And now this is a great one, because now you can see that really nice flexion, and, and Nathan does a beautiful job of this kind of offloading, or the little squat, the little sit down, where you can see he's really allowing gravity to kind of flex him a little bit through there. And then as he starts to drop down, now you can see him finishing off in this really strong rotations and the extension that we want to see through impact. Okay, so the pelvis is actually getting lifted and then you can see the right elbow getting thrown down to the ball, right? Now at this point, that lead leg is very internally rotated, mm -hmm. right? The right leg is very externally rotated and they've extended, right? So he finishes nice and tall yep. with his uh, chest pointed towards up, you know, up to the sky, even left of the, of the target there, right? Yep, and I love with Nathan, if you look in his swing, you can see how well he's utilizing his hips because you can see that his trunk remains such a good posture throughout the swing, right? It's not that his trunk, he's not standing up with his trunk or squatting down with his trunk. He's staying really, ha he keeps that good posture through the trunk throughout the entire swing. And I think you see that beautifully with him as well. All right, so there's, there's the uh, spine angle at address mm -hmm. and there's the spine angle post impact. Yep. I mean, I don't know if it's even changed a degree. Yeah, exactly. Right there. It is like spot on the same, very, very stable. Okay? Yep. And that's that disassociation, right? That's his lower body doing things while his trunk's kind of remaining in, in that position. Such a great swing. All right, now another item that we talked about in a prior video was how you've got to get the arms that go down while the hips are going up. So I want to draw an interesting line here. I'm going to take the kind of like the top of his spine through his knees and notice how that goes kind of right through the right elbow here. Mm -hmm. And you see this in in good uh, swing after good swing like coming right into the ball there. Mm -hmm. That right elbow just goes right onto that line. Yep. And I think that's a cool one where you can see that what he's done is he's moving the arms down as you notice his lower body coming up. But then what also is really cool is if you go back to just before impact, you can see how well he's held that position, right? He doesn't have to throw his hands at the ball because he's maintained that good posture. He's sunk down before this, and so he can actually stay low to the ground. And yeah, this is the position right here, right? You can see he's still really nice and hinged. Um, he's kind of throwing that elbow at it. Um, just such a good, powerful move. So I kind of think of it like uh, this, and maybe this is a maybe this will be helpful, right? So the upper body is on the left side of this line, and now the right arm, the forearm, is on this side of the line. Mm -hmm. So the upper body is turning, you know, away from the ball. And it, and if I think of like the overall rotation between the head and the knees, you see now the right arms on the other side of that. So it, it's a it's a nice, very um, 
circular motion yeah. and we've just got the pivot point that goes right through the right elbow. Yeah, and this is where we're getting that really nice force couple where you get that whole kind of left of that line kind of pulling everything that way and then it allows you to transfer all that energy to kind of the the elbow wrist club to the right of the line and deliver the club with some really good velocity through the ball. So this is a line that you can draw on your own swing. One, you're going to notice your head is pretty stable, right? And you're going to see the top of the spine pretty much stays in the same spot through the swing, mm -hmm. right? The knees are correspondingly, you know, it's the, it's the right knee back, left knee forward, and then more the right knee forward, the left knee back, mm -hmm. kind of as a nice teamwork there as the, as the legs change. Keeps that spine really stable, and then that whole rotational energy just gets pivoted basically right through the elbow. So you're able to do that very quick throwing motion of releasing that club head through the ball. Yep, yeah, perfect here. Click on the iCard that you see and it'll take you to a, our premium website that has an entire library of premium content to help you swing like this.